What is going on guys? I am coming at you with a highly requested video on what I am doing now, now that I am a doctor, now that I have received and accomplished my PhD. Well, for starters, I moved from Tampa to Jacksonville, so I am now living in this beautiful house with Jeff. What's up, Jacksonville? You've been lovely so far. I've also been finishing up a few publications, so if you watched my last video, I actually spoke at length about what that publication is about, so go ahead and check out that video. I'll link it in the cards above my head. And lastly, in my previous video, which was a full day of eating, I also told you guys that Jeff and I are taking a photography course on The Great Courses Plus, and Jeff and I do this whole YouTube social media thing, and uh, which requires a lot of use of cameras, and ironically, we're slightly clueless on how exactly to use a camera. So if there's a good picture on my page, it was either we had a stroke of luck or we hired a professional to take it. We're almost done with Fundamentals of Photography Part 1. And The Great Courses Plus has kindly offered my viewers a free month trial for those interested in their video learning subscription service. They offer thousands of lectures, which for you during that free month would be completely unlimited and they have not just things on photography, anything that you could be possibly interested in like math, science, learning how to play chess, like you name it, they have it. And even though I'm an expert in my own field, I never wanna stop learning. There is a big wide world out there and I'm trying to cram as much information into my brain as I possibly can. So if knowledge brain cramming is something that you're also interested in and you want to show my channel some support, I'd really appreciate it. You can go to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Buttermore and you can get a free month of unlimited knowledge on me. But now, on to the big question. What am I doing with my life? Well, for a quick primer, traditionally after you get a PhD, you commonly pursue something called a postdoctoral fellowship, or postdoc for short. And you can do a postdoc at either an academic institution or for industry like a biotech company or a pharmaceutical company. And from there, you'll continue your training and refine your technique and your skills as a scientist. However, if you stay in academia, you'll have to do a two to four year postdoc and sometimes it makes you more competitive if you do two two to four year postdocs. And then from there, you eventually want to become your own principal investigator. So you'll be hired by the university to move on to assistant professor, associate professor, full professor, hopefully get tenure, etc. However, as of right now, I'm actually not looking into either of those tracks. And this is because with having a PhD or when you get a PhD, you not only become an expert in your field, which as you guys know is ovarian cancer for me, you also become an expert at science and problem solving in general, which is a skill set that can be applied across any discipline or pursuit. So for the next year, I'd like to take my molecular skills and training and apply it to exercise science and nutrition, which is something, as you guys know, I'm incredibly passionate about. There are a few ways I'd like to do this. Just to give you guys a couple of examples, I want to travel to different exercise science and nutrition labs that do more molecular work and explore what they're doing there. And maybe I'd find new areas of research and development that I can help pave out with my own molecular skills. Or maybe this would be a way for me to educate more people about the work that's being done in this field through my voice here on YouTube. And that way I can spread more of what I learn and this information to the online community. And as a molecular biologist, I think I can really elevate the conversation in fitness and nutrition, especially as a female scientist. And I'd love to lend my scientific skills and education to fill a gap for what I see is missing. And I've also been invited to do a TED talk at Harvard University, which is absolutely mind blowing. I had to submit a proposal on my proposed talking points. So I don't know if I'm going to be selected, but Fingers crossed. And I proposed a talk on how I managed to balance fitness and social media all while pursuing my PhD. And this is actually something I get asked quite frequently, probably on a regular basis, a little bit more about my time management skills. So if I'm not chosen for the TED Talk, which I hope that I am, but if I'm not, I'd love to do a video on this. So comment below if you'd be interested in hearing something like that. And so perhaps maybe not quite as clearly defined as the traditional path. And like all of us, I'm still not 100% sure what the future is going to hold for me. I'm still incredibly excited about this next chapter in my life. I'm currently in preparing to write my certified strength and conditioning specialist exam. And I've actually been doing a deep dive on the current literature in 
in this field as well to get more familiar with it. And as a little bit of foreshadowing, Jeff and I just recently watched the documentary What the Health, and I'm actually preparing to do a review from the perspective of a cancer research scientist. So stay tuned for that. So I don't have all the answers and I don't know exactly what the future holds for me, but that's what makes life so fun and interesting. Hopefully, if nothing else, you'll just be happy that you'll be getting more regular content from me because I won't be spending eight to 10 hours in a lab anymore. So that's all I have for you for now. I'm sure you'll be learning what my next steps are as I take them. And you can be expecting a lot more content from me, so make sure to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and I'll see you very soon. Bye.